Some believe that the first golf balls were wooden, although no proof exists this is true. Officially, the first known golf ball was a leather sack filled with goose feathers and stitched up. These golf balls often took an entire bucket of boiled feathers to make, sold for more than the price of a club, and would only last about two rounds. They were used for about three centuries until being replaced by the gutty. Dr. Robert Adams developed the ball by using dried sap. This ball only lasted from 1848 to 1890, but brought affordability and availability to the golf ball market. In 1898, Corbin Haskell, along with the BF Goodrich Company developed the rubber core golf ball. This ball was further improved in 1908 by adding a simple dimple pattern cover, which led to a more consistent flight. The thin outer shell was made of bolata sap. The mid-1960s saw the introduction of serlin and urethane. Various other materials replaced the core, and soon we had two, three, or four-piece golf balls. Liquid cores even became popular, but they would often explode when dissected and cause injury. Luckily, Spalding purchased a patent for a solid core golf ball design and helped to create the two-piece ball we often see today.